Hello friends, welcome again. In this lecture, we will learn about the functions, whether it is numerical or string. So let's start. The first function we will learn about is min function. Minimum function gives you the smallest value. The syntax which is used for this is select followed by the min keywords and the column name in the bracket followed by the from keywords then table name. Let's do an exercise to understand the min function. The first question is extract the minimum salary from the employee table. Okay. Minimum salary select minimum function and salary we want to extract so we will use the salary column from table employee okay now select the then executed so the minimum salary of any employee is 85000 now let's go back to the slide the next function we will talk about the max function the max function gives you the largest value the syntax for the max function is select max followed by the column name then from keyboard followed by the table name let's do an exercise the first one is question is extract the maximum salary from the employee table so maximum salary select max from employee table okay select this one and execute this statement so the maximum salary is uh, 150k the second question is extract the maximum age from the employee table the maximum age is select maximum we will age we are talking about age so it is age column from employee table and select the statement and execute it so maximum age is 57 the count function the count function returns the number of rows that match a specified criteria so the statement is select count followed by the star star represent it will count all the records followed by the from and then table name then the condition is specified under the where keyword okay let's do a exercise find the number of employees who are male from the employee table so select count star from employee table where gender gender is female let's execute it in the employee table there are only four employees who are male similarly we can do that for the female as well select count from employee table where key gender equal to female then executed okay there are only two female employees in the employee table now the sum function sum function gives the total sum of the numeric column the syntax is select sum then column name followed by the from keyword then table name let's do an exercise extract the total salary for all the employees from the employee table so the total salary which complete pay for all the employees select sum we need to do the summation of salary cell column from employee table then execute the 
so the total salary is six four six forty five k. Okay. Average function. Average function gives the average value of the numeric column. Here the syntax is select average uh, keyword followed by the column name, which should be numerical. Then followed by the from keyword, then table name. Let's do an exercise. Extract the average salary of employees from the employee table. So average salary select a salary column from okay. Let's execute the command. So the average salary is coming out to be one zero seven five hundred dollars. Okay. Next question: Extract the average age of the employee from employee table. So similarly, we will use the average A B G. Here the we are talking about age. We will so we will give the input of age column. Employee table. Executed. So average age of the all the employee in the employee table is forty. Now the string function. In string function, the first one is L trim. It in L trim it removes all the blank spaces on the left side of the character expression. Okay. For example, we will select. Okay, we'll select this information as we created. Okay, in this output, you will see there is a left, uh, there is some spaces on the left side of the Sharma. Okay, we need to remove this extra space. So, how we can do? We can do it from using the L train. Select L train, taking this. Text putting here, then executing the statement. Okay, see the the spaces on the left hand side of the Sharma has been removed. You can compare it. See, you can compare it here. In the first query, the page spaces on the second query spaces has been removed. The second string function we will talk about the lower so it will convert all the character to a lower case letter for example uh, we select this is india okay let's execute it so this one is the output i need to convert it to the lower case so how i can do it i will use the Lower function as it okay. See, the first output is the normal one, the second output I have used the lower uh, function here. Okay. The third keyword is the upper function. It converts all the lower case uh, letters to the upper case letter. Okay, so you select this is India. Okay, this string is in lower case, so I need to convert it to the upper. So I will use the upper function. Upper executing the statement. See now, okay. Let's for both of the statements. See this one is initial first uh, input. This is India, and after using the upper function. 
reverse reverses uh, this statement reverses all the characters in the string so suppose i use So, okay, this I will reverse this using the reverse function. Okay. The words has been reversed. The first letter is T, so it is coming off first here. Sorry, the last letter uh, in Ankit is T. And when the reverse function has been applied, so it has become the first letter. Similarly, the first letter in Ankit is A, and it has become the last letter in this new word after using the reverse. Okay. So the last string function is the substring. Okay, this is most important one. In the substring, there is three argument is given. The first one is x is the original string, then y, y is the index number where the string will start. Uh, then z is the number of characters we want to see in the out output okay suppose i have this is okay from this sentence i want to extract india so how i can do i will extract using the substring okay so select substring and then original string is this one okay now the second argument is where the uh, india is starting so india is starting from 1 2 3 4 spaces 5, 6, 7, spaces 9, then 10. Tenth is the number index number from where the India is starting. So 10. And how many uh, letters we are talking about? India comprises of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 letters. Okay, we will put the 5. Okay, select the statement and execute it. Okay. So I have read it wrong. So India I address is at 9. So let's do it for both of them. Okay, see this is India and I want to extract the India from this uh, center. So I will use the substring and after using substring I have extracted the India here. Okay. So we have done every question here. Okay. So this finishes our lecture on the functions. I hope you have enjoyed it a lot. Thank you and have a nice day.